Hello and welcome to this week's video. Today I would like to share 10 steps for art journaling that I have found to be useful in my own art journaling journey. At first it might be a bit intimidating and you might think where to start. So I made this little list and I hope it helps or inspires you with your own art journaling. In time everyone will find their own style and favorite techniques. You just have to start from somewhere and the process will gradually take you to your own specific style that brings you joy like no other. And remember, your style will evolve and that is okay. Just go with the flow. Yes, but let's start with journaling space. You can take your journal or any kind of paper. It doesn't matter, or a notepad. And don't be overwhelmed by the empty space. It will be filled up. And then let's move on to the subject. You do not need any subject necessarily. Just start and see where it goes. And here is a tip. If you have something specific on your mind, this is a good way to get it out of your system. Writing things down helps and you can always paint over it. So it will stay private forever. After all, every story is not meant to be shared. And then it's time to choose your colors. I wanted to use regular watercolors and then watercolor pencils. I think these are quite handy when you want to do kind of specific details on your artwork. I like to do this little swatch paper when I'm choosing my colors and it's so nice to look at it and see what color pulls you like a magnet and that is what I will use when I do my art journaling. And you can use these as a bookmark in your journal. My colors today is rose, sea green and soft yellow. These are the colors that drew me the most. And then it's time to choose your media. It can be various paints, pens, pictures, papers, magazines, stamps fabric, lace, doilies, and so on. You can incorporate some old photos and write about them. You might not remember the stories behind them in the future, so it is nice to write them down while you do remember. Today I am using mainly different kind of papers and here are some jelly plate prints that I have stamped on and I am looking if something would fit in my journaling spread. Mm -hmm. 
OK, let's start with the base layer. Just throw in some papers and different media and keep going. Just continue with adding stuff until you are happy with what you have created. It's all about the layering. You might think at some point that flipping heck <laughs> this looks awful. But it goes with the territory. <laughs> Just keep going and keep on layering. Then it's time to add some texture. Of course this is optional, this is just something that I like to do. And here I use white gesso and then I am adding some modeling paste with stenciling. And then it's time to add some colors. And I am not coloring every inch of the spread because I want to leave in some space for writing when I feel up to it. Like the right page down corner, I am leaving blank. So it is ready for my little story at some point.
Now let's add some interest into the spread. Here is a tip, a nice way to add interest. For example is to draw and paint something into a thicker paper or cardstock and then cut it off and glue it into the page. And here I decided to use some stamping to the edges to make this look a bit more crunchy. Here I am going through my little stash of art journaling goodies and I wanted to see if some of these would fit nicely into the spread. And here is my favorite, favorite quote and it fits nicely here and it says believe in yourself and all that you are know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. I think these are wise words. And then it's time to add a tag. I think that journal full of little tags looks very beautiful. So I think this is a nice way to add in a little extra to finalize the spread. Time to admire your artwork and be very proud of it. You are a star my friend, so shine bright. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time and have a lovely week. Bye.